Looky here. Got something really cool to show you. Well, I got an idea. I was going to try to replicate the P80 or you know polymer 80 Glock lower or Glock like lower compatible 10-3. I or I ended up ordering one. If you can tell which one is the actual lower. And it's hard to tell, but this one here is the actual lower. This is still stock, uh, 80%. It's, it's not been cut. Um, I've tested it a little bit with the dick, the little nang here, and then I've not installed any type of lower parts kit on it yet. I am. Um, I haven't even drilled the holes in it yet, so that uh, I might eventually, once I get this process down. I'm, I'm testing different polymers right now for myself. But I made some molds and doing all this stuff and then eventually I'll be coming out with my own um, my own version of the polymer lower. Now and also, I'm going to be making it in uh, the f the big, the larger frame for, for my 10 millimeter, of course. That no one, I don't, I'm surprised no one else makes it. I hear that the Lone Wolf is in the process of making one. They're not out yet, uh, but I have not heard good reviews about their first versions, so I'm not even sure. Now, the mold process is ridiculously complicated, and then of course, on top of that, it's the variables are so hard to get done. Um, uh, let's see an example here. This this is done in, uh, in like a uh, clear resin that I had to render black, and it's not necessarily all black either. If you look really really close, I'm not sure if you can see this here. Really close, and then the, the sun kind of hits it the right way it's almost translucent in certain areas but the worst part is I've never hated bubbles so much in my life but the worst part is getting bubbles in your mold and then bubbles in your final product as you can see in here unless this is going to have to be drilled out and then the support uh, structure here, it's not that much. But then down in here, there's a bubble that has to be drilled out. And then, of course, these ones in the back here uh, ruined uh, the base where a base plate would go, or a base plug would go in. The bubbles there and some here and I've refined this process pretty good see even the color didn't take certain parts so and uh, there's uh, bubbles inside the mold itself it causes some problems you have to file that off cut it off file it off and then of course the excess and everything else there's holes you have to drill back in through because the, the mold itself didn't capture the hole I probably didn't do the mold right I have to go do back and do probably a two stager instead of uh, what I did just cutting it out this was a lower quality polymer that I didn't pour right it's really it dries really fast it's like a two minute thing and it takes a while. I have my mold set up like this, and I pour it in, and it takes a while for it to fill all the way up without me, and then get all the bubbles out. And there's bubbles everywhere, and this stuff didn't come out really good, so it's not really that great. Um, I'm going to do some torture tests with this stuff. 
uh, after I get the process done because if I can break it by hand and I do have to put substantial force behind that if I can break it by hand it's no good it's no good so I have to get a strong this is not the strongest polymer I have right now or the strongest resin I, I also will be some, coming up with some ridiculous type of uh, concoctions and mixtures like um, I'll probably put one in uh, I'll probably put like JB Well inside one of these and see how well it, that, that uh, holds up I'll be getting some here later on so this is uh, this is junk now Now, although that color was really nice, it's like a lava red, it's see-through, and as you can just tell, that this one I melt, molded with the down, downward, and it didn't fill back here. When I molded it this way, this is one of the first ones, I poured it directly down, and I had to tilt it, and it still didn't fill up back here properly. So, I did it this way. Now, of course, this is junk. I mean, it's still strong in certain places. Not there, obviously. Trigger guard, pretty strong. I did the same way with this translucent green. Of course, when, it, when I poured it, it dripped out the front. And I didn't secure it all the way printer is printing. See? No good. No good. But it's still nice, a nice color. It's like a translucent green. I'll have to get um, Some more of that stuff. Now these are the better ones of the two. I don't think this is going to hold up either. It's already broke here when I was even getting out of the mold. It's just a nice example of what not to do. It's not going to hold up. That that version. It's just the blue. It's almost the same formula as the other one here. It's this one dries white so. Um, when you put a color in it, it dries white. It, it fights the color, so the white plus the colors. Instead of a deep purple, it's a pink purple. This one came out really well. Um, I had to do minor adjustments to this one. I even drilled the holes on that, and it fits perfectly in the jig that the original came with. Awesome. So, minor adjustments to that. Mac comes in, Mac falls out. This one, I think, is a little tighter. I have to do some more adjustments to that one. But the original, Mac comes in, Mac falls out. I don't think this works in this one either. Yeah. No, nope, that's a little. I sanded that one down. And it comes out just fine. Now, this one, this is a stronger natural black material that I poured. It is, does not give as much as. It doesn't give the same amount as the original. This still does break. And I still have a little bit of holes in there. I'll be when I once I find a formula that's sturdy enough to to do it and I'm not sure this is a break, I don't know. Yeah, it'll break. Up, up there anyway. So when I get this formula done right, because you have to mix it in proper proportions or it doesn't hold up. 
um, this and done correctly because I have some of the factory samples those things are tough problem is it only comes in black I can't render this a different color these are, are these two are the same technically the same color except this is naturally black from the factory and I had to color this one black these are not the same formula either and then of course there's the original to the natural black this natural black is definitely blacker I don't know if you can see the difference in the light besides for the bubbles and some scratch marks they are identical and then of course this one has the metal base plate for your serial number eventually if you ever decide to get one this one has a plastic part if you would ever want to serialize it. Uh, these are still 80% have not cut these down yet. There's the terror right now. I do find this interesting. That's why I started doing it. I am going to be doing it and finish product of them. There's a test print for 3D printed uh, Glock 17 and the dimensions were wrong. It's not like that. The dimensions are very wrong. I think it's about 3 millimeters too long. So I am currently adjusting that and I'm waiting for it to done, be done printing and I'll get you another video on that one. So this one, this one by far was the best so far, and uh, that was a shame that it broke that easy. I just have to get the proper mixture right with the hardener and everything else, so it will do its job. I can't necessarily squeeze it that way. It doesn't give nowhere near as much as the original. this one this one gives a lot easier this one actually feels like my Glock lower the, the gives this one's a lot sturdier than the Glock and then this one is equally sturdy I bet I could probably run my truck over with this I will test that later on these ones not so much no not so much And if I, I could produce these, these would be at your own risk. I mean, they would probably hold up, but I would not take them into combat. No. They would probably hold up a few dozen rounds, a few, you know, a few hundred rounds, possibly, without some type of, you know, pin, pin shifting or anything like that. The colors are pretty cool. I can make these in any different type of color plus white. Uh, red comes out pink. Dark blue comes... Or then, all my colors are like a deep color. So... When you mix it with white, it comes out like a baby... baby you know, like a robin's egg. Blue, which... A lot of the Glocks are this color now. And then... I've seen a lot of Kimbers this color. Purple. Well, no, not Kimbers. The new uh, Rugers. They're, yeah. Those are purple. So, I, pre I have made a few uh, dozen Glock base plates with different types of colors. Um, I'm not sure if I have one within my reaching distance here. But, let's check. My desk is still a mess. And uh, well, I guess eventually I'll be doing a, once I figure this out, it should probably be easier, more simple. As soon as I figure the formula out correctly and or a type of formula to match 
the polymer for this, if not exceed the tolerances on that, I will give it back to you and show you, update you, whatever. And then uh, once I get a, one I'm confident enough to fire with, I will definitely bring you a video on that. As it is now, thank you for watching.